ஹலோ எவ்ரிவான் மை செல் பவித்ரா அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் காமர்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் சென்ட் ஜோசப் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் விமன் ஒசூர் டுடே டாபிக் இஸ் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஆடிட்டிங் வித் அதர் டிசிப்ளின்ஸ் அஜெண்டா ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் ஆஃப் ஆடிட்டிங் வித் அதர் டிசிப்ளின்ஸ் ஸ்டெப்ஸ் பிஃபோர் கமன்ஸ்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் நியூ ஆடிட் ஆடிட் ஒர்க்கிங் பேப்பர்ஸ் ஆப்ஜெக்டிவ்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆடிட் ஒர்க்கிங் பேப்பர்ஸ் அட்வான்டேஜஸ் ஆஃப் ஆடிட் ஒர்க்கிங் பேப்பர்ஸ் டிசிப்ளின் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் so the first one accounting auditor has to revive and evaluate the financial statements by providing an opinion therefore he should have thorough knowledge about a accounting concepts and principles second one mathematics and statistics auditor deals with financial data and the amount that appears in financial statement hence it requires knowledge of calculation procedure involved in computing various items for example depreciation provision for bad debts tax etc auditor uh, is also expected to have knowledge of statistical sampling for making meaningful conclusion third one economics auditor requires knowledge regarding business and economic uh, environment affecting the client thus economic concepts are required to perform auditing in a meaningful way next law audit of a business concern has to be undertaken with respect to conformity with law thus an auditor should have sound knowledge of law affecting the client fifth one computer information system uh, in recent times clients maintain their accounts in computer information system thus working knowledge on computer is required for auditor to conduct audit in an effective way sixth one financial management auditor to understand and evaluate the financial statements in a better way should have knowledge of financial techniques seventh one behavioral science so auditor has to deal with many personnel to conduct the audit efficiently hence he should have the uh, tact of getting along with people discipline relationship pictures next steps before commencement of new audit first one is appointment confirmation the auditor must examine the terms and conditions of his appointment it should be confirmed uh, that the appointment was authorized by a competent authority and uh, there is no reason uh, whatsoever in rejecting this offer second one legal document study of memorandum of association and articles of association to be carried out in order to ascertain the powers of the company and uh, that of its management third one prospectus issued during the year the auditor must confirm that its contents are duly approved and authorized by the memorandum of association of the company fourth one inventory observation various contracts made with other companies in particular foreign companies must be checked for their proper authorization by the memorandum of association and articles of association it is also uh, pertinent to mention that the auditor must you know, point out to to the clients the stock taking must be conducted under his watchful eyes especially in the case when goods are stored at distant uh, branches of the company stress uh, says next one is nature of business nature of business plays an important role in planning of auditing procedures and their application knowledge of the nature of a business concern so under audit can be acquired from the memorandum of association partnership deeds etc sixth one system of accounting the auditor must obtain the list of the books of accounts and records maintained by the business concern he must also handkar about the system of internal control in the business concern in addition to this he must also has certain whether it is a single entry or double entry system and that what is the method adopted in preparing final account by the business concern seventh one reliability of internal control the auditor must also inquire about the level of the system of internal control established in the business concern the auditor must uh, very careful examine its validity so that it cannot only be trusted but can also be a measure of reliability of the work conducted next is audit program an audit program is prepared in the light of the above information and certain duties in this regard assigned and fina- finally the audit of a company begins next instructions to the client the auditor should ask his client to direct the staff of the company to prepare a schedule of debtors and creditors list of investments prepaid and outstanding expenses etc 
tenth one client certificates the auditor can obtain certificates from the client about not only the confirmation but also the authenticity of the accounts debtors creditors etc in addition to this uh, the client can also issue certificates for the benefit of the auditor in context of uh, stock valuation next eleventh one is list of employees or officers the auditor must acquire information about the employees and the officers working in different departments of the company the auditor must have advocate knowledge about their authority and responsibility in order to be able to prepare quality report of the company at the end of the financial year next change of auditors the auditor must ascertain the reasons as to why the auditor was changed he must compare the reasons of the retiring auditor with that uh, given by the client next analytical revive the auditor can check the ratios and percentage for a number of years he can examine the trend of various items in order to have knowledge of any unusual items next time required the auditor can decide the time required to complete the audit work he can increase or decrease the members of staff to do his work the cost of audit can increase due to any extension made in the time period of audit work audit working papers audit working papers means the papers and documents which contain important facts about accounts which are under audit are called as audit working papers working papers provide the basis of conclusions and uh, summarizations of the report prepared by the auditor at the end of the audit work as per uh, sa 230 audit uh, documentation audit working papers refers to the document proposed or obtained by the auditor and retained by him in connection with the performance of his audit that term audit working paper means the written paper and document